Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is officially my third video. I am so excited. Y'all have been requesting this how to contour and highlight look. So yeah, I've been very excited to do it for ya. Also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Enough with that. If you're excited to see how I created an, an everyday contour look for y'all like this, Please continue watching. So I have already primed and put foundation on and done my eyebrows for timing purposes. Next, I'm going to grab my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just going to put that in a triangle shape under my eyes. What the concealer is going to do it's practically going to give like a glow to your face, make this seem very bright, and make your eyes pop out a little more. Then I'm going to grab a beauty blender and just blend everything out. Going back to my concealer, I'm going to put it on my nose and on my forehead and then grab a small beauty blender and blend that out once I am done with that I am going to grab my banana powder and I'm going to grab my beauty blender and just grab some and put it all under my eye I am also going to put some of this banana powder on my nose and on my forehead. While that sets, I am going to grab my highlighting and contouring palette by Inspired by You. And I absolutely love this palette. It has my highlighting shades and my contour shades. It has all it has warm tones, cool tones, and it's just one of my favorite palettes to use. If you have a chance, I totally check them out. It's so worth your money and it's super pigmented. For my contour today, I am going to be grabbing contour shade number two with the small fluffy brush. And where I am going to place my contour is from the top of our ear, so right around here, and just bring it down. I am gonna make it a lot darker from the beginning and slowly blend it out. So make it, you can just pack it on practically right here. Bring it a little up. Okay, once you are done with that, you're going to grab your brush by the end so you'll be able to blend everything out much lighter. And you're just gonna bring it down and smile and bring it in towards your cheek as so. Once I am done blending that out, I am going to grab some more and start blending towards my forehead. Once I am done with that, I'm just going to repeat the process on the other side. So all this contouring that we just did, it's going to help just to make your cheekbones appear a little higher and just more out there, in other words. And it's gonna shorten your forehead up. 
I, I feel like I have a big forehead so I like to I like to contour my forehead and especially right here next I am going to grab my bronzer I like to bronze and contour at the same time you can do them separate that is totally up to y'all and how y'all are feeling sometimes I just bronze and sometimes I do both but I'll go in with that same brush and just grab some of that bronzer and just kind of put it on top of the contour this step you do not have to do that's just what I personally prefer once I am done with that I'm going to grab a very small angle brush and going back to that contour shade number two I'm gonna grab a little bit and place that on my nose in two straight lines going down I personally don't like to contour my nose every day but I mean this is a contouring and highlighting video so that's why I am going to show y'all how to make your nose appear much thinner than it really is. After I am done contouring my nose, I am just gonna grab a little sponge. I'm sure everybody's seen one of these, the old beauty blenders. And take some, take some of my setting powder and place it right under the contour like that. That is just gonna help clean everything up and make your contour look seamless and flawless. While I let that bake, I am gonna grab a little bit more and, and clean up my contour lines on my nose. Once I am done cleaning that up, I'm just going to remove all the setting powder. And also a little tip or trick I would say, if you over contour, there's always a solution for it. Grab a bit of your banana powder and just blend it in and it will lighten that right up. Next, I'm going to grab my highlighter. This is Rodeo Drive by Ofra. I'm just going to spray and grab my little brush. I am going to apply my highlighter before my blush because once you put your highlighter on and then you put the blush on top, it just makes it seem seamless and then it just helps the highlighter just, you know, peek through there and say hello <laughs> we're gonna just apply our highlighter first so the highlighter will go right above your contour so you could just smile and you can see your contour right there it'll go right above and you don't want to bring it all the way down just like for the end of your eyebrow to the point where your eyebrow arches so just right around there that's where you're gonna want to place all your highlighter And then if you're just a little extra, just like me, you can bring that highlighter up to your brow and above the brow arch. And just repeat the process on the other side. Once I am done with that, I am going to grab a bit more highlighter and put that on the bridge of our nose so right here and on the tip of our nose but don't bring that highlighter right here just on the bridge and then on the tip of our nose and I always like doing that one extra step and putting it on my brow bone because 
because you might as well glow for the gods. Next, I am going to grab my Tarte Amazonian Clay 24 Hour Blush in the shade Feisty. So, so pretty. And my Real Technique Fluffy Brush, and I'm just gonna lightly place that over my contour and highlighter. Very lightly. Bring it up. And once I am done with that, I'm just gonna set everything with my Spray Set and Go by Project Beauty Setting Spray. And since we're gonna go for a more natural look today, I'm going to grab my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. And it's just like a gloss, since we're going natural to look today. All I'm gonna do is pop on some eyelashes and I'll be right back. So I'm back and my eyelashes are done. For all my extra girls out there that won't be just comfortable with a glossy lip or just prefer a more nice, elegant, but everyday look that is super easy to do, we're going to add a red lip to this to top it all off. This is the Wet n Wild Berry Red Pencil. I'm just going to outline my lips with this and make them seem a little bigger. Next, I am going to grab my Striking Milani Lip Cream and place it over. I'm going to go ahead and put some highlighter on the top of my lip and on the bottom. So this is the final result. like always i hope y'all enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making it for y'all thank you so much for requesting this video i absolutely enjoy showing y'all every step on how i contour every day um showing you little tips and tricks on how to contour if you didn't know how thank you so much so much for the love and support you have been giving my videos make sure you subscribe subscribe y'all giveaway will be starting this month my next video will reveal the product I'll be giving away so make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications to be informed of what the giveaway is about also make sure you follow me on here enough rambling now thank you so so much again for watching this video and all the love and support and I'll see y'all next time bye